by leading nations has been revealed. The emphasis, at any rate, is on peace. A most loyal welcome had been prepared for the Queen in Wales. The tour began at Brecon, where Her Majesty was received by Major General Rakes, Lord Lieutenant for the County of Brecknock. Inspection of a Guard of Honour, mounted by the 1st Battalion of the South Wales Borderers, preceded the Royal Tour of the Brecknockshire Agricultural Showground. The Queen must certainly have been impressed by the quality of the livestock on show. The new Usk Reservoir of the Swansea Corporation at Treecastle was the scene of the next engagement. The Queen unveiled a commemorative plaque at this £3 million undertaking and she inaugurated the scheme by starting the flow of water to the mains. The reservoir took five years to complete. Next day, divine service at St David's Cathedral, the National Shrine of Wales, was attended by the Queen and the Duke. The coxswain and crew of St David's lifeboat had the honour of presentation as the royal couple arrived. This visit to the cathedral was historic, the first by a reigning sovereign since Edward I in 1284. Now to Aberystwyth, on the shores of Cardigan Bay. One of those presented here was Miss Jones of Wales, who of course wore the attractive Welsh national costume. The National Library of Wales, in which the royal family has long taken the keenest interest, was the feature of the visit. After entering and taking her place, the Queen received a bouquet from young Margaret Ellis, who was obviously determined to do the job correctly, and she did. Her Majesty had come to open the newly completed central block of the library. The assembling of these collections and their presentation to this library are a splendid example of the affection in which Welsh men and women hold their heritage and of the selfless generosity on which they have founded so many of the solid achievements of the intellectual renaissance of modern Wales. Everywhere Her Majesty and His Royal Highness were greeted with the true loyalty and affection of the people of the Principality. Thank you.